As a result, we stop relying on ourselves and learn to rely on God who raises the dead. We have placed or we place our confidence in him because we know he will continue to rescue us. I, I pray and hope and believe that through my trials, my sufferings, and the tribulations I've gone through, a lot of you have been with me through most of those trials and tribulations. I pray and hope that through my trials and tribulations, I've learned how to help comfort you when you're going through. As you're going through your trials and tribulations, when you're having great struggles and great doubts, as we talk about those things with, with you that choose to share with me and what you're going through, I pray that through my counseling you and talking to you that I give you a, a peace of mind that it's going to be okay. Just keep moving through and watch God on the other side. Over time, I've watched those of you that have faith in my ability to do that through my experiences, that you are experiencing that he was right. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Matter of fact, I'm amazed of how great it has turned out to be. I'm, a, I'm amazed at how his counseling told me to take my hands off it and trust God and, and build my own faith, my own life, get myself right with God. And that's when we'll see things change. I'm praying that that's what I have learned through my trials and tribulations is how to minister to those that are going through. That I don't counsel you to cut them loose. You know, don't take, don't let them keep disrespecting you. Leave him. Leave her. Stay in there if you can. Depending on the circumstances, you're free to go. And you'll be clear with God. But if you choose to stay, you're saying that what you're dealing with does not matter. So you can't come back to God after you decide to stay with the same issue. Because when you decide to stay, you knew what the consequences were going to be. They may never change. They may get worse. So you cannot have another disappointing view of where they are because you're saying it doesn't matter. That's what unconditional love does.